Okay, guys. Um, today is July 14th, 2024 at 6, 18 PM. <clears throat> um, early morning or late last night, last night, however you want to look at it, it was midnight. My daughter and I put on about a dream that she had about Trump and, um, Jesus coming back. <clears throat> it's on my uploads. Um, and some other things that led up to that, that we were given. Um, but I failed to put on a message that I should have put on yesterday morning. <clears throat> um, I was led to some scriptures yesterday morning and, um, I pushed it off because I had an appointment, life got in the way, shouldn't have done that, <clears throat> but it's okay. Cause, um, the Holy Spirit's been reminding me to do it. Not that I forgot. I just need to do it. So I'm going to share that now. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you something. One, I'm going to put the, um, the video of me and my daughter talking about what happened and Trump. Um, and then some other messages that we got. <clears throat> I'm going to link it to this. I'm sorry. My allergies are really bugging me. And then um, I'm going to try and link another video. I just ran across um, <clears throat> a man named Steve Fletcher 222. I believe that's his channel, Steve Fletcher 222. And he just put out a video um, about, um, I think, like Jesus healing the ear, like the Garden of Gethsemane, okay, when he was in there and, and, um, <clears throat> Peter took the sword and hit the soldier's ear and Jesus healed it. And I saw that picture. It came up on my feed and I just saw the picture of the ear and that um, soldier and his ear. And I was like, oh, God help me, Jesus. I got that yesterday. I got that yesterday morning. So I, I got that 7, 13, 2024. Um, the morning of, <clears throat> before everything happened and went down. Um, and that's what I'm going to read to you because I was given revelation about that section of verses. Okay. So we're going to go to it and I'm, I've got my Bible. I'm going to show you. Okay. Um, okay. So I just opened it and here's the scripture that I'm going to be reading in. Okay. Um, it is in Mark chapter 14. Okay. And I have gotten this, um, in December and in January and different things, just different times. So I have different things highlighted. Okay. But, um, I got a word on 12, 3, 23. I don't know if you can see that. 12, 3, 23. Okay. And it's the garden. It's the hour in the garden of Gethsemane. <clears throat> and it talks this whole thing. Okay. I'm going to read that because I got that, like I said, December 3rd, 2023. And I just stuck it in my Bible as a bookmark, kind of, because I was writing about this then you know, Holy Spirit inspired because I was going to be talking about it. Um, uh, we did a, like a baptism kind of people come and, and, um, <clears throat> what the Holy Spirit wanted to share my son, my daughter and I, um, and just trying to get people saved. And so we all did a little sermon or something that we wanted to talk about, about the Lord. And this is what I was led to at that time. Okay. <clears throat> so first I'm going to read, um, and hopefully this goes through Lord God, help me, Jesus. <clears throat> okay. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just going to start. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start on chapter 14, verse 17. Okay. Um, and the evening... And in the evening he cometh with the twelve. And as they sat and did eat, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, One of you which eateth with me shall betray me. <clears throat> and they began to be sorrowful, and to say unto him, one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? And he answered and said unto them, It is the one of the twelve that dippeth with me in the dish. The Son of Man indeed goeth, as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good were it for that man if he had never been born. <clears throat> and as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed and break it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat this is my body. And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. <clears throat> And he said unto them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine, until that day I drink in new in the kingdom of God. <clears throat> and when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Okay, now stay with me and, and please listen, please hear. All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. But after that I am risen, I will go before you into Galilee. But Peter said unto him, Although all shall be offended, yet will not I. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this day, even in this night, that this day, even in this night, before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. But he spake the more vehemently, If I should die with thee, I will not deny thee in any wise. Likewise also said they all. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane. And he saith to his disciples, Sit ye here while I shall pray. And he taketh with him Peter and James and John. And began to be sore amazed and to be very heavy. And saith unto them, my soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward a little and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but thou wilt but what thou wilt. And he cometh and findeth them sleeping. He cometh and findeth them sleeping and saith unto Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Couldst not thou watch one hour? Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. Not the beginning of my journey with this channel, but even before this channel, before it started, I was told by God to sound the alarm, um, tell my people to put on the full armor of God. And he got very stern in my face because I hadn't done it yet. I didn't know how. And that's where this channel came up. Um, to tell his people to, to put on the full armor of God. Okay, to watch that Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. And again, he went away and prayed and spake the same words. And when he returned, he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. Neither wist thou 
neither wist they what to answer him. And he cometh the third time, he came a third time and saith unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. It is enough. The hour has come. The hour is come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise up, let us go. Lo, he that betrayeth me is at hand. Okay, when I was reading that, it reminded me of everything that we were doing all these years when you become a Christian or when you do and you've been waiting and you fall asleep, he's not coming, you get back into the world, you fall, you like do things. He's saying, wake up. That's what he's been doing for the last, at least with me, the last two, two and a half years to tell people, wake up, wake up, wake up, sleepy church, wake up, wake up, my people. Can't you stay awake and pray? Can't you stay awake with me just an hour? Because it is the hour, the time's at hand. <clears throat> so this, this is kind of like leading up to the rapture. And then it's to me, it's a rise up, let us go. Lo, he that betrayeth me, it is at hand. Reminds me, this reminds me that we're taken. Okay, we're taken. And immediately while he yet spake, cometh Judas, one of the twelve, and with him a great multitude, with swords and stabs from the chief priest and the scribes and the elders. And he that betrayed him had given them a token, saying, Whomsoever I shall kiss, that same as he, take him and lead him away safely. And as soon as he was come, he goeth straight away to him and saith, Master, Master, and kissed him. And they laid their hands on him and took him. And one of them that stood by drew a sword and smote a servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. And Jesus answered and said unto them, are ye come out as against a thief with swords and with stabs to take me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and you took me not. But these scriptures must be fulfilled. And they all forsook him and fled. They all forsook him and fled. And there followed him a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about his naked body. And the young men laid hold on him, and he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. They all forsook him. What did he say would happen first? I'll give scriptures to it. What did he say would happen first? Like the great falling away. There was tribulation coming. There was persecution for them that knew Jesus. It was all starting and getting heavy. And they all forsook him. So a great falling away. They all forsook him. They showed their nakedness. They ran away naked and fled because they weren't covered in the blood anymore. They weren't covered by him anymore. They showed their nakedness. And they led Jesus away to the high priest, and with him were assembled all the chief priests and the elders and scribes. And Peter followed him afar off, even into the palace of the high priest. And he sat with the servants and warmed himself at the fire. And the chief priest and all the council sought for witness against Jesus to put him to death and found none. 
for many bear false witness against him, but their witness agreed not together. And there arose certain and bear false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and within three days I will build another made without hands. But neither so did their witness agree together. And the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, saying, Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witnesses against thee? But he held his peace and answered nothing. Again, the high priest asked him and said unto him, Art thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? Son of the blessed. The son of the blessed. It reminds me of um, religions calling Mary like the blessed mother Mary. And these are the ones coming against Christ. Art thou the Christ, the son of the blessed? And Jesus said, I am, and ye shall see the son of man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes and saith, What need we any further witnesses? Ye have heard the blasphemy. What thank ye? And they, they all condemned him to be guilty of death. And some began to spit on him and to cover his face and to buffet him and to say unto him, Prophesy. And the servants did strike him with the palm of their hands. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna leak a couple of things that I've been given. Hopefully, in the description, I'll put the links to it. Um, I was given a vision about that. I saw that, and it was the um, strongest love I've ever seen anyone show is to be silent and go through something for you because it's going to save you. There was so much strength in his silence and him humbling himself and being weak for me and for you. Because that weakness was so strong. I'm sorry. Um, and as Peter was beneath in the palace, there cometh one of the maids of the high priest. And when he, sh when she saw Peter, now this, this just reminds me of how a lot of people are going to fall away when there's so much persecution. Or there's going to be people either that want to take the mark because they're too scared. And people are going to be calling them out, Aren't, weren't you? Weren't you on YouTube? Weren't you in the streets talking about, don't you follow? You're one of those people that want to talk about the Lord. She looked upon him and said, And thou also was with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied, saying, I know not, neither understand I what thou sayest. And he went out into the porch, and the cock crew. And a maid saw him again, and began to say to them that stood by, This is the one of them. This is one of them. And he denied it again. And a little after they, they that stood by said again to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thou art a Galilean, and thy speech agreeeth thereto. But he began to curse. He began to curse. And to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom ye speak. And the second time the cock crew, and Peter called to mind the word that Jesus said unto him, Before the cock crow twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. 
and when he thought thereon, he wept. It also reminds me that seriously, when everything starts going down or everything's going down, we're either like waiting for the rapture or those left behind. Okay, those left behind. It says, um, there's there's that part in the scripture that says, don't think your master's delayed and go back with the drunkards. Um, you know, eating and drinking with the drunkards. You, you shall have your part. Um of their shame or you should have their, you should have a part of their, their shame or something. Um, I'll put, I'll try and put that too. Um, can you imagine, can you imagine the great falling away and then the rapture and then Jesus coming and then people being left and you've got to have strength then you've got to have strength to be a Christian. You've got to have, you've got to, like survive but you're not going to be able to survive some will but you're but the pure evil that's going to turn just like just like them the crowds the crowds looking for someone that might have been like talked about that jesus of nazareth you know weren't you and they're going to be laughing like you're left here with us we're going to hurt we're, it's our time now we're going to hurt you and then they were going, no, 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 I, no, I, you know, either running or going, no, no, it wasn't me. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about that. And trying to like be scared and fall in line. That's what I got 7-13-2024 that morning of during my Bible reading. That's where I was led. And that's why I was led to understand that that whole 14 is a foreshadowing and a showing of what's coming through tribulation, the rapture and tribulation as well. That it's a foreshadowing of it all. Okay, again, I am going to um, put things in the description, like links to certain words and dreams that we've been given and things like that. So you can click on it. Also, I'll um, put Steve Fletcher's 222, his, um, his as well. But I'm going to read what I did or what you, it's just quick, okay? What I've had as my bookmark for um, a while now. Okay, um, December 3rd, 23, 2023 led to Mark 14, 37 through 38. Okay, that's what it starts with. Jesus is in the garden of Gethsemane, about to pray. He finds the disciples sleeping and asks Simon Peter, are you sleeping? Can't you watch for at least an hour? Watch and pray so you don't get tempted. He was at the end. He was about to be betrayed. We are at the end. I'll read that again. He was at the end. He was about to be betrayed. We are at the end. Jesus is about to be betrayed again. All the evil, wise, righteous men in the dark places plotting their schemes against Israel, against Christians. Jesus being betrayed again. The devil plotted and orchestrated 
But just like in that day, at the cross, Jesus wins. Death has no more sting. Be awake. Watch. Pray. Jesus is near. The title of that was that he gave me, okay, was We Are in the Garden of Gethsemane in the last hour. And that was back in December 323. We are in the last moment. Wake up. And if you've never come to Jesus, surrender now. He's the only way. He's the only safety. There is life everlasting. Everyone has it. Where are you spending it? It doesn't stop here. You don't know. Jesus could come now. Or in a day. Or a week. But not only that, you don't know your last breath. Don't let the devil steal it. You don't know your last breath. No one knew with that rally. They were going there to support. Standing in a bleacher. And loved ones were lost that day, that moment, that second. Nothing is guaranteed in this life, but Jesus is. Jesus is our guarantee. Sealed and loved forever when you accept him and what he did on the cross and his resurrection, that he is the son of God. The Holy Spirit is our guarantee. Jesus is the guarantee. He's the truth. Don't be deceived. <laughs>